What's going on, everybody? It's Pelfrey, and I'm back in the SPS game. I uh, want to show you real quick Budman's Corals. Been following him a long time. I actually started following him back when he was 6T7 Mustang, and uh, he started selling corals a couple years ago. He's got some amazing pieces, and I've always wanted to buy corals from him, but I wanted to make sure that my, my tank could handle his corals before I spent the money. It's pretty rare for me to have any time off during the week and I got a day off so I decided that I was going to order some corals. Luckily I got him in in time. He was able to ship him out. He's down in Alabama. You can check him out on Instagram and he has a website and I'll link all this down below. Um, obviously uh, what you see on the website he has a what you see what you get section and then frag packs and in the frag packs it is not a what you see what you get uh, situation. I went with the refiller um, frag pack that he offers simply because it's going to have a variety of corals that I can test out in my tank. Uh, you know, we're going to start out with a stylo. Uh, we're going to start out with a couple different variations of the bird's nest. And then we're going to have um, the green slimer, which I always really loved. Uh, I had one before, started to grow a little bit, and then I killed it just as, uh, you know, my, my typical fashion. Um, then you got a worldwide coral uh, slime ball. I've already mentioned the green slimer and then a blue tip stag. Uh, also a PC rainbow. So, you know, these, it, for me, I felt like it was a good pack to pick up to test out in the tank. It's obvious I'm a sucker for a sticker. Um, so any stickers I get, they go on my RODI containers um, and I'll just fill them up as stickers come in. So again, he's down in Alabama. He shipped them up to Kentucky. The heat pack was still warm. We got a uh, little reef nutrition pamphlet here, which was very much appreciated. A little sample of some pellet food, which by the way, the fish end up loving, so I need to pick up some more of this stuff. Um, and then last, we got a sample of some Brightwell Aquatics amino acids, which I'm already using in the tank, um, just not on a um, super, super regular basis. I don't really have a reason to at the moment. Uh, as corals grow in, I do plan on picking up uh, some more of the um, right well amino acids I feel like right now is a good time to just go ahead and plug instagram obviously i'm on instagram at pelfrey's reef you can check me out there but if you're not on instagram then you're kind of in the dark about um sellers like this because there's multiple people that do this and again i followed him back before he was Budman's corals um and and ever since then uh, i followed along and the pieces that he posts are amazing and i hope that someday I have a tank that can hold some of the more expensive pieces that he has. If you want, um, Murphy's Aquatics picked up uh, 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 some corals right around the same time that I did. You can check out his channel or his Instagram to find some of the more expensive pieces. Obviously, I didn't go with that route because I need some filler pieces. I need some test pieces to see what I can do with these pieces before I go all in with SPS corals. So why jump into SPS? Well. I love the colors of SPS, more so I love the challenge. We all know that my, my previous track record with SPS corals has not been so great, but we all know that I like to tinker with the tank, and now that I've pretty well left it alone, I feel like I'm in a good spot in my life where I can try SPS corals again. I do like LPS corals, not necessarily as much as SPS corals. Again, I'm looking for the challenge, and I'm up for the challenge of keeping the tank stable and you know, I, I really wanna grow some colonies. I've never personally seen colonies. I would love to grow those colonies out in my tank so that I can see them in my tank firsthand. It was pretty much a given whenever I switched from Kessel to Radion that I was gonna travel down the path of SPS again. It was just a matter of time and, and trying to figure out when I was gonna be ready for SPS corals. As I said earlier, Anything that I order, if it comes with stickers, it goes on the roadie containers and uh, just be basically becomes uh, an advertisement, you know, so to speak. But I have no other use for the stickers except for the roadie containers. And I have two 40 gallon containers that are about four foot tall. So I have plenty of real estate for stickers. I stuck the PC rainbow up highest in the tank because I figure it's going to demand the most light. It um, surprisingly hasn't Hasn't colored up, obviously, but the, the polyp extension on it has been tre tremendous. I can't complain at all. The uh, stylo, I've always liked stylo corals, and uh, it seems to be hit or miss. I feel like if you're really, really hard into SPS, you probably don't really care about stylos. I like them. I just like how they grow up and um, uh, branch out. 
the green slimer had one previously it started to grow out a little bit and then i killed it so you know it is what it is the slime ball from worldwide corals never had one of these before interested to see uh, how these corals do in the tank obviously this is actually the first stag coral that i've ever had in my life don't know what to expect from it but so far it's done well in its location and again it's it's about halfway up in the tank so it's getting uh, some some fairly decent light I did put all of the bird's nest um, together on a pedestal rock. Now, I love the pedestal rocks, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely not something that I thought about. Um, you know, obviously the rock is, is kind of flat on top of it, so you don't really get the height that's involved with it. So I may, you know, flip the rock around and stack a smaller rock on top, uh, on top of the back of the pedestal just to give it some height. Otherwise, uh, these corals here and any other corals that I put on there uh, are just gonna grow you know, straight up and it's gonna be pretty hard to see them. But otherwise, I don't really think you can go wrong with the pedestal rocks. It's, they've been great to me so far. The driving factor behind all of this is that I've tested my alkalinity on a super regular basis. It will drop down to about eight after a week from about 8.1. So, you know, there's, there's not a lot of demand or any demand in the tank. So I don't really have a spike whenever I do a water change. Now, I did change to the Red Sea Blue Bucket Salt, which pretty much matches my water parameters on point um, without any, any hesitation. I can do you know, a weekly 10-gallon water change, and that's kind of what I've reverted to again. Um, previously, I was doing regular water changes, and that's what I've um, done for uh, the last couple months. 10 gallon, 8 to 10-gallon water changes and I don't have to worry about any parameter swings. Now, before I was using the Coral Pro Salt, and obviously whenever I would do a, a five gallon, even a five gallon water change, I would have a swing in all of the parameters because of how hot that coral was. When I say how hot that Coral Pro was, I mean elevated in elements as far as alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium. So all in all, again, I'm very thrilled. Um, this is the pedestal rock with the bird's nest pieces on there. The sour apple has probably done the best out of all of them. I'm not so sure about the other two. Um, the pink bird's nest is just a thinner uh, branching bird's nest and they are on the lower section of the tank. So they're not getting the light that uh, obviously some of the other acros are getting. And you can see on the bird's nest on the left there, that there is some white underneath it. And um, you know I kind of expect that and bird's nests are um, some people claim them to be, you know, super easy corals, but I've really never had good luck with them. So I'm hoping out of the three different variations, I do have um, good luck with at least one of the corals. If you're looking for a, what I would call a beginner's pack, I would definitely not hesitate to pick up this, this coral pack from Budman's Corals. I mean, like I said, they all come in uh, healthy. Excuse the Miyagi torque that's in the middle of there. We'll discuss that in a later video. Uh, the blue stag has kept its color. The stylo, um, we're gonna save that for another video because for some reason out of all the corals, it's not the one that's very happy. And I believe it's because I had a um, slight phosphate spike. And again, we'll address that in a later video. The PC Rainbow does have polyp extension, although it's hard to see in this video. It does have a little bit of color on it, but I'm hoping to get some more coloration out of it, no doubt. I mean, it it should be um, uh, where it's at in the tank. It should fare pretty well. Now we're going to go down to the um, slime ball here. And again, it's, it's about halfway down in the tank. So it's got some good flow. And speaking of flow, I kind of think that that was one of my issues previously. I think that the corals may have gotten too much flow because I was ramping the gyres up to... Um, like 60% and I have two 230s on a three foot tank. So, you know, it is what it is, but maybe flow had something to do with it. The um, um, green slimer here, I really hope it takes off. I've always loved this coral. I really want to keep this coral. It's probably the most exciting one out of the whole bunch. So uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, I do have some ESV Bionic uh, alkalinity and calcium if and when I need to dose that. I don't foresee that happening anytime soon. Haven't touched the intensity of the lights. Um, everything seems to be okay for now, and uh, we're just gonna give it some time and hopefully it pans out well. As always, I do appreciate you following along. Check me out on Instagram at Pelfrey's Brief. Check out the website at pelfrey.net, and I'll catch you on the next one.